Well, by this point in the course, you should have a pretty good grasp of how to use all of the different sections of the Lumetri Color Panel. But I want to point out some things that have been happening under the hood when we've been making these changes. Now I'm going to switch from looking at the scopes to my Effects Control tab. I can do that simply by clicking on it. Now I do want to point out that you'll be hopping back and forth between your Effects Control tab and your Lumetri Scopes tab a lot. So if you don't want to have to keep clicking back and forth, you could create a new workspace or even better, create a keyboard shortcut that allows you to go back and forth very easily. Now there's already a keyboard shortcut that will take you to the Effects Control tab and that's simply Shift 5. Now there's no keyboard shortcut for the Lumetri scopes. However, you can very easily create one. Now what you need to do is go ahead and open up Keyboard Shortcuts. On a Mac, it's underneath Premiere Pro and on a PC, you'll find it underneath the File menu. Once this is open, go ahead and simply type in Lumetri. You'll notice there is an option for Lumetri scopes and by default, this is blank. Now I've applied the keyboard shortcut of Control Shift 5. Remember, Shift 5 takes me to the Effects Control Panel. So Control Shift 5 is an obvious selection. And what I really like is that it's not used anywhere else in the program and it works equally as well on a Mac and a PC. Once you've made this modification, go ahead and press OK. Now we can easily toggle back and forth by hitting Control Shift 5 and look at our scopes or simply Shift 5 and look at our effects control panel. Now notice there are no effects in my effects control panel. But as soon as I go over the Lumetri control panel and even just touch one of the adjustments, the Lumetri color effect appears inside the effect control panel. Now I'm going to open up some of these disclosure triangles so you can see what's inside. And what's important to note is that some of these adjustments can be keyframed. If you see a stopwatch, that means you can put a keyframe wherever the playhead is currently parked. However, there are some adjustments that cannot be keyframed. For instance, your curve section has no stopwatches, so this is not an effect that you can change over time with keyframes. Now that we know what we can and can't do, let's go and put this into play. I want to take this shot, which is a nice night shot, and create a day version of it so we can artificially create a time-lapse sunset. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is make sure that I have my basic corrections open. I'm going to scroll back up so I can see basic corrections in my effects control panel and position the playhead where I want night to happen. So in other words, where I want my finish. And I'm going to work backwards in this case. I know that I'll probably work with most of these settings and the truth is it doesn't hurt for me to actually put keyframes in even on extra ones that I may not use. So I'm going to click on blacks, whites, shadows, highlights, and so forth. And as you see, keyframes are being created whenever I've clicked a stopwatch. And just for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and click on saturation and make sure there's a keyframe there. So everything at this point in time will look exactly the way I want it. Now I'll move the playhead earlier on in my timeline and I'll start adjusting the image to make it look more like daytime. So I may open the image up and I'm going to move the exposure slider to the right and you'll notice as soon as I finish that move, a keyframe appears in my effects control panel. Now I will be toggling back and forth between my Lumetri scopes and my effects controls because I want to make sure that I'm not making my image so bright that it's not broadcast safe, and the same thing with colors. Again, Shift 5 and Control Shift 5 will be the keyboard shortcuts that I would most likely use. Now that I've brightened the image a little bit and fixed my exposure, let's go ahead and 
play with our contrast, a little less contrast, bring up our shadows. So now it's brighter. I want to make sure that my black levels really still stay black. So I might keep that down here. And I can work with the contrast highlights. Let's take them up a little bit. So this looks like late evening. Because I've brightened the image, I'm going to add a little bit of saturation because again, whenever you lighten an image, saturation diminishes. Let's go back to the effects control panel and you can see keyframes have been added for all of the adjustments to make this look like day. Let's hit play and see how the effect works. I really like that. I faked a sunset. So as you see, being able to keyframe your color grading can be very beneficial and it's pretty easy to do as long as you know to step into the effects control panel and be aware of which color effects can be keyframed and which can't.